So um, I'm trying to guess how many years ago this was. 16, maybe 17 years ago, um, I met this kid, similar circumstance, said hi, watched him play, and I was afraid to talk to him afterwards because I didn't know what he was going to do as far as playing live. And then when you see him, and he did this live thing, and I just and he came back to the dressing room afterwards. I owned a small coffee shop, and it was the first time he'd ever played in San Diego, and I thought to myself, I can't talk to this guy afterwards. I saw a person possessed deliver songs that I'd never seen before, and I just saw it again with you, and it was really frightening because it was Jeff Buckley that did it to me before. Do you understand what you do when you do? Is it, are you possessed? I forgot to ask Jeff this, so I'm going to ask you. Yeah, I don't it, really. You know, I was I was born with something. I was born with a voice, and I write. I don't I don't sit down with a lamp and a pen and write. It just these things come to me, and so I. Uh, I mean, I'm glad that it has that effect. I love music. It's my life. It's it's what makes me feel more than anything. And I do feel sometimes like I, I drift off to another place, but I, I can't take credit for it, and I certainly can't live up to uh, to those kind of comparisons. But but it is almost as if you know when when you sat down there and belted it out, it is something that transcends everything else that happens on, on, a, on a daily basis, whether you know, it's rock and roll that I play normally on the radio or watching performers mm -hmm. play. When did you know, or when did this first start manifesting itself? I'm, like, I'm acting like I'm your doctor. It's like, it when was, did this manifest itself, Josiah? That's all right. It was, you know, it, it was a long and slow thing. When I started writing, I wasn't very good. And when I started singing, I wasn't very good. So it's something I've, I've tried to nurture and build within myself. Yeah, I try not to worry about too much of what anybody else is doing or what is going on. I try and just be the best that I can be. Right. And I think a big part of that comes from being open to inspiration, whether it's lyrical inspiration or, or, or melodical inspiration. Just uh, So over time, I've just cultivated this idea that I just follow where my heart kind of tells me to go, you know, whether it's with songs or words. And uh, it definitely hasn't always hasn't always been to that point. I mean, I grew up in Tennessee, and uh, you know, growing up there, it's kind of the place where people are like, you know, fuck off, kid, you can't do this. It's not possible. You're not, you're, A, you're not good enough, B, you're not in the right place. And so I've, I, I try and, um, obviously, I, I know that I, I'm capable of, of doing something and having an effect on people. And right. so I, I try and take care of that and, and have a, you know, a sense of humility, but it's, it's, it's a fine line. So when did you when did you bail from uh, Tennessee and where did you go first? I I left Tennessee when I was 17, and uh, basically everybody in Tennessee was like, uh, go to Nashville, go to Nashville. That was the place to be if you're in Tennessee and you want to do music. Um, I chose I got a job at a, a chicken and fruit and vegetable packing plant in Fort Worth, Texas, and so that's where I went when I left. <clears throat> you know, it, it almost sounds like you're completely pulling my leg because Fort Worth, Texas doesn't seem like you'd want to go. It but what, 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 what was it about Fort Worth, Texas? Just because you just wanted to get out of uh, yeah, where I wanted you were to at? get as far away from Tennessee as possible. And so I sold all the things I had. I sold the uh, drums. I used to play drums. I was fucking terrible though. So <laughs> I sold my drum set, and I sold. Uh, I had a Gibson Les Paul that I had no idea how to play. So I sold all these things. That I had worked at a Chick Fil A to, to raise money and bought these things. And and I just wanted to get as far away from Tennessee. The the power to drive was like an ability to escape for me. When right. I got the first time on the interstate and saw the green signs and the miles to places, I just wanted to go as far as I could. So I sold enough to get me to, uh, to get me to Texas. How long did you last in Texas? Uh, a few months, not, not too long. And then, you know, I, I kind of wandered around. I went to Atlanta a bit and Jacksonville and St. Louis. Um, just kind of, kind of drifting around. No place. And where do these songs? Were these songs coming from? Obviously, experiences you were going through on the, on the, on the trip yeah, out, or, or it's, uh, it's, it's a combination of everything. This one especially is about. I grew up in Tennessee and I always hated it. I hated everything about it. And especially since I've been out in California for a year, I find myself missing it. I miss the earth. You I hate miss... the things you love. You know that. You Absol have to hate the things you love. Absolutely. So you Absolutely. don't appreciate it until you get the hell out. Well, it's a very fine line. Hate and love are almost the same thing. You know. Yeah. So I, I end up missing missing it a lot, and so I go back to it, and uh, you know. But the the only way I'm really good at expressing myself is through music. Even even here, I'm really awkward and don't exactly know what to do. Uh, they all are, by the way. Yeah. Every every musician I've ever interviewed is is awkward in one way or another. But then when they get on stage, it's a completely different thing. So I can, I can tell at this point, and you. It's not about fame. It's about there's something that needs to come out, and if you Absolutely. don't let it out, you're going to explode. Absolutely. Am I right? That is the way I've always felt. Is it was kind of uh, 
It's, it's, it's like it's dramatic, but it's like a do or die thing for me. It's like I would I would literally we- rather you know waste away in a ditch somewhere than do anything else with my life. Well, you're, you're going to do this. You do it very successfully. I hate to say, well, I shouldn't say. I'm glad to say, but but at the same time, you you're lucky because people who have actually done this with other people before, mm-hmm. have, have found you before you got into the ditch and, and wasted <laughs> away or withered away or whatever it would be. Thank It'd probably take about a week and a half for you and you'd be, <laughs> comple- you'd be completely gone. But, uh, but uh, I just, I, I'm amazed. I'm, I'm completely amazed. I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I almost want to watch the performance again and have you play 10 more songs here. But, uh, uh, you know, thanks for, uh, for getting out of Tennessee, first of all. Oh, thank you. Um, but at least that gave you the inspiration for you know writing songs because you know if you don't have the the bullshit then you can't write the good songs Absolutely. You know? yeah that's kind of what it comes down to